Today I'm here with Marco Amadori. Marco Amadori is the founder of In Bitcoin IT, which is a company that offers services for businesses to use and accept Bitcoin. And he's also a member of the Bitcoin Valley in Rovereto, Italy. Well, my first question for you, Marco, uh, first of all, is welcome and, and thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for, for you for, for having me. Thank you. Can you start by describing the Bitcoin Valley and what exactly is going on there? Okay. Um, when uh, we started the company uh, in Bitcoin in uh, 2016, officially, um, the, the idea was to, to do everything in Bitcoin. We call it the, the company in Bitcoin where other people around the time uh, were, were afraid of uh, the word Bitcoin itself and uh, uh, calling their startup a blockchain something, a chain something, uh, something like that. Uh, we were, um, we had the idea that Bitcoin is uh, perfectly legal, perfectly fair, perfectly nothing to hide. So we, we call the company Bitcoin and we started also to uh, try to, um, do everything uh, in the company life in Bitcoin. We, we wanted also to um, pay our developers directly in Bitcoin and have them uh, spend uh, their Bitcoin in the, where they work and live. So um, it actually started two years uh, before the company, uh, like uh, um, like a joke, I think, uh, because it, it was I, at the time I was a researcher in uh, what is called now uh, artificial intelligence. They we had uh, uh, near Rovereto, we, which is located uh, in the north of Italy. Uh, we had a research center uh, specifically for um, IT technologies uh, related to artificial intelligence. I was working there, and uh, I was. Uh, um, I had the duty uh, to uh, prepare an uh, internal uh, talk for uh, the different uh, research unit about uh, Bitcoin and the, the technologies. And uh, doing that, it was a technical uh, speech, in, internal technical speech in the, the, the research facilities. And uh, I asked, I think, uh, for, uh, for playing uh, um, the nearby pizzeria was a restaurant, a pizzeria restaurant uh, near the research center. Uh, if you wanted uh, to accept Bitcoin, because I, I was doing that uh, the thing, he gladly accepted. And then um, a couple of journalists, uh, local journalists, uh, wrote an article about that. And uh, some friends of mine uh, that, uh, that were uh, friendly with uh, some restaurants and, uh, and the and the bar in uh, Rovereto asked me if, if ca I can give uh, the this, this service uh, to them too. And uh, some journalists uh, wrote about that thing and more, uh, more merchants asked me, I had, had no company, I was uh, just a, um, a researcher, uh, if uh, I can give this service to them too. Uh, after that, uh, the, it changed the politics in uh, our uh, region and uh, started to uh, dwindle to shrink uh, the funds for uh, this research uh, center. So uh, I, I did my talk. I, it was uh, really successfully. Uh, these kind of events have uh, like uh, 15 people attending and there, there were uh, more than to, to hundreds, so uh, it was a huge, a huge success. It, uh, this was in uh, uh, October uh, uh, 2014, and um, after that, we the, the research was not possible uh, anymore because I'm not founding uh, uh, was available available for that. So I began to I wanted to start a company for uh, doing research and a software company it was initially in Bitcoin and also today. But um, 
I wanted to have the environment, uh, uh, a Bitcoin friendly environment for my developers. So uh, paying their wages in Bitcoin, they uh, could uh, just uh, descend uh, from the work zone and go to the local uh, uh, restaurants and, and bar and have a beer paid in Bitcoin. It was uh, for doing that, just for experimenting uh, the thing. It, it was a, an, a surprising success and, and uh, a lot of uh, other merchants around asked if uh, they could accept the Bitcoin too. Uh, so uh, after a while, uh, because uh, it was not the main focus of the company to, to create the Bitcoin Valley, uh, we started another company uh, named uh, B Manity that uh, started uh, some um, local uh, exchanges. Uh, we, we call it in, uh, it's an Italian um, play, word play. It's called Compro Euro, which means uh, buy Euro. Because uh, our, uh, in Italy, the, the, the local uh, gold shops are uh, called the Compro Oro, which, which means buy gold. So we did a, a kind of joke uh, because uh, you, you, you go to a Compro Oro, say a, 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 a gold shop, uh, to give uh, an old form of money to receive a more modern one. So we did the same. Uh, we buy, we, in English, uh, we, the, the, the shop is, could be called We Buy Euros something like that and uh, it was a, a bit um, a small success uh, uh, we didn't contact uh, local politics about that uh, but uh, the it was a huge uh, media uh, success and uh, some politics asked us if they could uh, do something locally in the, the region politics for for that uh, we did we give them some advice and uh, they started um, uh, doing a, um, I don't know if, what is the term, a local law I think uh, a local law to promote a bit, uh, uh, the usage of Bitcoin in this, this uh, particular region. Uh, what uh, happened next, uh, it was the first uh, public service uh, to accept Bitcoin, the first uh, um, public administration. And uh, we had a service for the local meals for uh, the, the local schools. And uh, I think uh, in, uh, in, I, don't, I don't know the, the different uh, kind of schools, I, until the age of 15 from uh, the first uh, uh, elementary schools until the age of 15, uh, you could pay for uh, the meals of uh, the students uh, directly in, in Bitcoin. It was the, I think in the first public service in Europe uh, to do that. And, um, and in the 2018, uh, we uh, experimented uh, Lightning Networks in uh, the first, uh, the first bar we had in Rovereto. We hosted also some uh, devel developers uh, union like for uh, RGB. And uh, uh, it was surprising that uh, it, it actually worked. Uh, in, a, in, in a beautiful Italy uh, piazza place, uh, <clears throat> square, where the bar, bar is located in a Venetian-like city. It, uh, Rovereto was founded from uh, the Venetian Empire <laughs> some centuries ago, and uh, it, the, arch the architecture is similar to, to Venice, not so beautiful, not so big, obviously. And uh, um, so we had uh, those developers uh, drinking a beer and uh, pay, uh, each one paid uh, from outside the bar, uh, uh, comfortably uh, sit in, um, in this place uh, with different uh, lighting networks wallet. We, it, it, it was a uh, fun. Nowadays, uh, you have, uh, we have uh, two kinds of merchants the, we didn't migrate uh, yet all to Lightning Network, uh, but uh, the, the most uh, useful for us uh, uh, locals, uh, like uh, some bars that sells beers, uh, uh, local uh, tobacco shop, uh, local, uh, um, I don't know, uh, street food, maybe. And uh, so you can uh, come to Rovereto and uh, pretty much pay everything or 
from the the gas line to uh, your food, the drinks, uh, and uh, also um, night accommodation in directly in uh, old style blockchain directly Bitcoin, or uh, with the new uh, Lightning Network systems for uh, because I. Um, it was impractical now nowadays to buy a single coffee directly on uh, the chain. Uh, uh, in the first time, it was uh, not so pro problematic because uh, the Bitcoin network was uh, less used and uh, the fees uh, were uh, low. Uh, we didn't uh, try to leverage uh, like all other cities uh, that uh, did uh, like a parable to shitcoinism because of that uh, we know uh, since the beginning that the fee were, were uh, will be uh, raising up so uh, we started as soon as possible in migrating our services for the merchants in lightning networks and uh, nowadays you can you, you can come. Uh, it's called the Bitcoin Valley because uh, it is uh, in Europe the most dense uh, merchant per inhabitant uh, city of the whole Europe still still today, and uh, we are we are still um, trying to um, promote the usage of Bitcoin, different kind of uh, of um, of Bitcoin der derived. Uh, industries like uh, in uh, our region we uh, mine one bitcoin a day from 100% uh, renewable uh, source of energy because in our region is uh, really mountains uh, and we had, we had a lot of hydro uh, electrical plants uh, so all of uh, our electricity source are uh, renewable and uh, we are uh, trying to um, to expand uh, more uh, the services and uh, to uh, more merchants, more um, things to do in Bitcoin. We had uh, some uh, Bitcoin tourists uh, from Italy, uh, also from uh, other parts of uh, the world that came to to try to to experiment uh, Bitcoin because before it will be obvious for everyone, which is. Uh, what we think uh, Bitcoin will be, it, it will pass from a difficult uh, thing to to grasp uh, to a, a really obvious uh, everything uh, will will uh, will uh, know uh, about Bitcoin uh, and uh, why it's a uh, gold uh, transferable via internet. Uh, it's not surprising. <laughs> so uh, this is a. Uh, we have a couple of companies directly founded by us and some other companies uh, that uh, with with some friends uh, like uh, Big Academy, where also Giacomo Zucco works for, and uh, Satoshi Design, that is a company that uh, um, realized these beautiful t-shirts <laughs> and uh, also do, do some communication for uh, Bitcoin, and time chain startups. Uh, we are we are using time chain uh, because blockchain uh, is everywhere and also uh, often is um, misleading. So we are Bitcoin. We are we, we were Bitcoin maximalist before it was a thing. Awesome. That was a wonderful explanation. Thank you. I wanted to ask first of all, how many people and businesses are participating in the Bitcoin Valley? Would you estimate? Uh, I think uh, 12 uh, a dozen of companies in uh, Trentino after we we bootstrapped the the idea and because uh, because the local uh, uh, local um, administration is a bit more friendly than uh, the rest of Italy so uh, different uh, startups uh, uh, transferred uh, to our our region also be because uh, that simple thing that uh, our local politics did in the past. Uh, we are talking about 2017, uh, 17, and uh, it changed also uh, the behavior or uh, also local police. I think uh, if you go to Milan and uh, have some Bitcoin problems, maybe the policy is aggressive. Here is very kind because they they kind of uh, or they have Bitcoin too. 
also the, the, the officers. And, um, or just because the politics said that that is a good thing for the, re the, the, the region, and uh, they changed the, the minds, the mindset. So it's a really a beautiful, um, strange place in Italy where uh, Bitcoin is uh, uh, viewed as a good thing. Nothing is uh, strange, uh, hidden, or uh, muddy. I don't know. Uh, every everyone is happy. We had some at uh, some uh, some cycles of success stories, local success stories. Uh, people do not work anymore because they they bought Bitcoin uh, early. And the people who accepted the Bitcoin in uh, our first days, uh, the one who uh, would uh, who, um, hold the Bitcoin because uh, we, for um, for the ease of the merchant, we offer the solution to accept Bitcoin and get the euro in the bank account. But uh, it depends for uh, for. Um, from merchant to merchant, uh, some merchants uh, needed a couple of years to ask us, could I uh, just uh, uh, take my Bitcoin and do not convert them to local fiat? Uh, obviously, yes, since the beginning. <laughs> and uh, and some, uh, the one was, who would, would uh, for the for what this, this period was short, like the, the, the first uh, two uh, venues, uh, the, the, a vegan restaurant was and a, a pub, a bar that sells beers. Uh, they uh, started immediately in keeping uh, Bitcoin from themselves and their happiness increased uh, during the last years uh, very much. And so they, they were, imitated by uh, the, their competition. At the first, it was uh, just a, a play game. Uh, it was cool because uh, I was an intelligent, uh, artificial intelligence researcher doing this strange Bitcoin thing. Uh, they wanted to, do, to accept it because it was cool, strange, nothing more. Uh, something for uh, political ideas, so, something just to uh, rejuvenate uh, the, the, the venue. Because uh, if you have, uh, it, we are talking about uh, late uh, 2014. So if, if you are, if you have uh, Bitcoin in your pub, the competition needs uh, some, um, laser drones, I don't know. Uh, so so it was like a, a technological way of differentiating. And the, uh, the media response was huge. So in order to get the same uh, media attention uh, we had in the past for accepting Bitcoin, you probably and need to murder something, someone, kill someone in your pub to have uh, the, the media attention for that. So it was just that, a play game and uh, a way to uh, have some free media coverage. But in uh, the years, the, also we, we did some dissemination of information. Uh, at first, it was a, I was really technical because I I went I came, I came from uh, uh, this uh, this particular um, job before, and, and then we, we we tried to popularize and to explain Bitcoin in simpler terms and, and uh, to uh, to I think um, uh, to just um, put the face in the, the in. In the in front of the people, which was uh, Bitcoin, accepting Bitcoin, also buying Bitcoin was a, a difficult thing uh, for uh, uh, the I think the the average Italian Joe, uh, average Italian Tony, uh, because uh, you you need to uh, do often a bank transfer to a foreign country, which is. Uh, strange and unusual. Uh, so having a, a, a local shop where you can go by foot and ask some questions, simple question, you know, how I buy Bitcoin, I will keep, him, keep them safe. Uh, if I die, how I can uh, give them to my uh, sons or, or uh, nephews. Uh, so um, 
it was uh, some simple question uh, that people, some kind of people, uh, needed uh, a personal contact, a physical contact, uh, to you know, in order to to gain uh, trust. Because uh, in the end, uh, the money we are using is based on trust. So you you trust the euro not because the central bank, but because your sister bought a, a pair of shoes in euro, and you know that uh, tomorrow you can have a pizza with some euros. So uh, it, it was the same with uh, Bitcoin. People started to use, we had the, uh, we differentiate uh, the, the local uh, chatting in uh, public places, in the rest of Italy, maybe you, uh, you, you saw people talking about football or cars. And in Rovereto, you had the people talking about Bitcoin, mining rewards, uh, and uh, the legendary Lightning Network. So uh, it kind of was uh, like that. It started like, uh, not it was not a real... Um, uh, a venture for creating uh, the Bitcoin Valley. It was, uh, um, I think, uh, uh, an, the underground of uh, our idea of living in Bitcoin. We call it in Bitcoin also to have a different domain, uh, dreaming Bitcoin, drinking Bitcoin, driving Bitcoin, living Bitcoin, get paid in Bitcoin, so, something like that. And uh, so we tried to, to experiment uh, all uh, the range of uh, possibilities of uh, this uh, new kind of uh, money, value, uh, reserve of value, and like that. Uh, at first, we didn't uh, want to uh, sell and buy Bitcoin because uh, the, we thought that um, the kind of service was already uh, filled with um, offers from big, uh, bigger companies. So we, we specifically uh, started a, as a software company for, for third party startups. Uh, we did uh, some works also for big names. And, uh, um, but after a while, a lot of people asked the uh, continues asking us how to buy Bitcoin, how to uh, spend Bitcoin, how, how can I, uh, putting uh, them in a safe place. Uh, how can I store them? I can, uh, the, the, the thing that we were talking before. And so we started, uh, as I said, a company uh, for the Compro Euro thing, uh, because we were tired of uh, answering uh, <laughs> questions. <laughs> and today we have these, these two companies. Uh, in Bitcoin, which is still a software house serving uh, third party companies, mostly Bitcoin or time chain startups that uh, have some ideas and wanted to have uh, uh, some software developers that know how to have the hands on the keyboards. And uh, the other company, which is doing uh, the Bitcoin Valley kind of thing, so uh, services for a citizen and a merchant mostly if a real a real physical merchant we which uh, were a thing that uh, we saw that it was not served well because uh, correctly most uh, bigger uh, companies that are doing payment services are focused on online services we which uh, we do too, but uh, nobody was uh, focused on a real uh, street merchant. So the, the, the software and um, the applications um, available were not optimized for the experience. Uh, there were a lot of cumbersome, difficult to use uh, with uh, some uh, Italian bureaucracy uh, missing services and we just added what uh, we experimented uh, uh, the merchant really needed because we saw them each day like uh, 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 an alcohol addicted uh, our me and also um, 
some members of my company often speaks like, hi, I'm Marco, I'm not using Euro since seven days, something like that, it, which is a joke, but is, uh, it's the, the real thing that we experiment. We, uh, we can go around in Rovereto and buy pretty much everything in uh, Bitcoin and um, more and more things directly in Lightning Network. You mentioned in Rovereto that the, um, that the government is kind of accepting of Bitcoin, but what is the regulatory stance in the rest of the country, like outside of Rovereto? Are they accepting of Bitcoin? Rovereto is the center where, um, the town where we have uh, our companies, but uh, the Bitcoin Valley is all the area around. It, it was not the local of Rovereto, it was like the, the Trentino, Alto Adige, or uh, Trentino uh, region, which is uh, a small country. Uh, I don't know uh, the divisions in, uh, in the rest of the world. It, it's like a region. It, uh, the Italy is uh, divided in 20 region, and uh, half, uh, half our region is called Trentino, because of Trento is the, the main town, and all around all this area, uh, you can find uh, bit, Bitcoin accepting merchant uh, restaurants, hotels, uh, uh, venues, uh, some a lot of places. You can find the map uh, in uh, classical uh, open street map. Uh, you can find our places also in in our um, in Bitcoin slash map. You can find some of our uh, the the our clients that wants to uh, be a public known, which is the 99.9% .9 of them. And uh, uh, the, the local government uh, was uh, friendly, but uh, we had uh, recently, we had that service stopped because it was a, a, uh, it was a, a new law that centralize the payment for the public administration with the rest of Italy. So they cannot accept any more Bitcoins uh, since two months. Uh, like uh, we had uh, some years of the, this uh, beautiful thing. And now uh, we cannot uh, directly, uh, our region, even if they want, they cannot accept any more Bitcoin for public administration without uh, passing from the central Italian government, which, which will be, uh, we, we will uh, slow down something. Uh, so we are trying to, uh, to find uh, other services that uh, are not uh, um, uh, compromised with this bad centraliza centralization and uh, to serve them. We, we plan to expand more more to more venues uh, merchants in the local area we also have clients in it in around italy also some small clients uh, outside italy uh, but uh, um, we are trying to uh, if we can if we are <laughs> the best we can to uh, transform this uh, beautiful place it's a touristic place uh, in the north of italy we have mountains and lakes uh, the, to one of the Bitcoin paradise. It's just, it is already a bit uh, of, of it. If you, you can, um, you can come to visit us and uh, spend a lot of days without uh, needing anything but Bitcoin. So if you want to uh, leave the Bitcoin experience uh, before it will be obvious in all the world, uh, you can come here and try what uh, the future rule will taste. What about the banks? Are the banks offering like banking services to these uh, time chain startups or are they kind of like blacklisted still like in other places? 50-50, there are uh, some banks that serve uh, Bitcoin. We have a uh, beautiful, um, I think, uh, relationship with some banks, but we ha also had uh, the same problems like uh, other people. We had the bank account closed because of uh, our name directly, no, no need to do due diligence because we, we are called it in Bitcoin. <laughs> so uh, some banks uh, closed uh, our uh, accounts and uh, we, needed, we needed to, um, to find uh, others. We are 
actually talking uh, to some bank, uh, uh, so local banks, uh, in order to improve uh, this this uh, this thing. But uh, as time passes, everything is uh, more simpler. Also, thanks for uh, El Salvador, which uh, it's uh, curious because our local dialect. Uh, Il, uh, the savior is pronounced the, the same, uh, like the thing was a, a curiosity, but uh, our local dialect is pronounced the same as uh, the country. Um, and uh, we are uh, actually trying to, uh, to improve this uh, landscape of uh, uh, banks. In Italy, not in Trentino, but in Italy, we had uh, a couple of years ago, one of the first banks to uh, give to uh, their accounts, uh, uh, to their clients, um, the, the possibility to buy Bitcoin uh, with, with uh, another Italian, not uh, in our region, an, an Italian startup. Uh, so we had one of, it was a small bank, uh, but uh, an Italian nation, nationwide uh, and um, historical uh, bank, which is Banca Sella. A, a private bank uh, um, with, uh, that uh, gave, gave this service, I, I think, uh, a couple of years ago. And um, I think it, it will be easier each uh, week passes to do that. So I'm pretty confident uh, uh, that uh, everywhere, but also here where I live, it will be uh, easier and easier to have uh, Bitcoin and uh, her relationship with the banks. What would you say are the most popular wallets that people are using in the Bitcoin Valley? Yes, a lot of people still uh, use uh, uh, Altana, which was our uh, fork of uh, green address with uh, some uh, additional features uh, that uh, made mostly colors and uh, and some uh, Bitcoin ID and facilities uh, for uh, for um, buying street Bitcoins. And uh, nowadays uh, we are focusing on the merchant part. Also, if if we are if we were bigger, we have have a lot of ideas on uh, the wallet side because we are by trying every day a lot of issues rises and. Um, I think uh, we will uh, probably do in the next few months uh, some something like we did before. We will not uh, probably uh, create from scratch a new wallet, but we'll uh, try to find uh, one of the best and most secure experience and add our experience to that. Uh, uh, one of the features uh, we would like to add uh, in light network because uh, it was planned for uh, for the Altana, but uh, uh, the, the popularity of Bitcoin uh, rises so fast that we needed to reinvent all the thing in a light network. It, it, the, the missing feature for uh, the citizen, not for the merchant. For the merchant, we are pretty much uh, good as we are, and because uh, we we can. Uh, um, protect the merchant from uh, the Bitcoin volatility or expose the merchant from the Bitcoin volatility very easily. If you are scared, just uh, take Euro. If you are not scared, just take Bitcoin, simply as that. And we can do some buy and uh, sell Bitcoin if you want to, to manage yourself directly. <laughs> For the citizen, for the, uh, the people, it's a bit different because irrationally, they, it seems rational, but it's not rational. Uh, they do not want to spend Bitcoin, obviously. They want to spend Euro before Bitcoin. Even if in the Bitcoin Valley, a lot of places, like there are a couple of bar, one that does 20% discount if you pay Bitcoin, and it was choose by the bar owner after Bitcoin reached the $2,000, like a, a, a party. From now on, 20% for Bitcoin. A lot of, of venues 
are doing uh, the from five to ten percent discount bars uh, there is uh, also a new uh, very beautiful bars bar in Rovereto handled by uh, some beautiful girls that do uh, that sells uh, local produced uh, zero kilometers beer very good uh, I, IPR beer and that they are doing 22 percent discount of bitcoin for if you pay in bitcoin 22 because uh, it's uh, like the vat in italy so it's um, so, some sort of a u urban rebellion like that and uh, uh, the problem for the the citizen even if those big discounts <laughs> Uh, it, they do, do not want to spend Bitcoin be because they think they will rise uh, a lot. Because I think it's irrational. Because if you think really think that, you should not have fiat anymore. You don't you don't have to have a single euro in your wallet. You have to have only Bitcoin, and so you spend Bitcoin because you do not have anything by Bitcoin. This is what. I actually do some 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 years, and also my developers and uh, my my employees. But a lot of people, also famous people, <laughs> uh, think that. So we uh, we imagine a future uh, where you you can actually spend Bitcoin, but you have your reserve money in euro. Uh, we would like to add that in uh, our wallet. So you, you are not spending Bitcoin, you are spending your euro, but be, be, um, you are getting the benefits of 22% uh, discount on your gorgeous beers. Are Bitcoin and ATMs popular in Roberto? Uh, we started uh, in, uh, over in our shops and also in some bars to have ATMs. But uh, uh, after uh, a specific uh, Italian law, which kind of prohibits the A in ATM, you it cannot be unattended, uh, we removed all of them. They are still popular in Italy, but we were like not, not the real first in Italy. The first one was uh, a guy in, uh, in Friuli, which uh, it's uh, the far east uh, of Italy. Um, but we were we were among the first to bring ATM in um, in uh, Rovereto, and we were the first all in removing them. Uh, it was very very cool. It was very popular. In some uh, months, uh, there are a lot of stories to <laughs> to told about uh, people lining up in uh, buying uh, uh, Bitcoin in the, the local bar which is a no-brainer. If the, the bar uh, sells Bitcoin, maybe 10% more than uh, the spot price, but sells the beers with 20%, it's a no-brainer. <laughs> Before paying, you just go to the ATM, buy, uh, use your euros to buy Bitcoin, it, hey, you gain uh, one beer. <laughs> it's simple as that. Uh, it was fun, popular, but uh, we we wanted uh, to dream safely at night, uh, so we removed them. Besides your company and your employees and you, um, how many other people would you say are earning their wages in Bitcoin in Rovereto? Uh, I don't think too too many. We were imitated by a couple of bars that paid uh, their waitress in Bitcoin. I don't, I don't know uh, other company. I think uh, um, from minimum of two company to, I think a maximum of 10, but I, I, can, I could be wrong because uh, uh, the Bitcoin mining in uh, our uh, local zone was not uh, promoted by me. And I, I, I realized uh, like uh, a couple of months uh, ago that uh, our uh, region does uh, one Bitcoin a day of uh, uh, hydro plant uh, mining. So uh, I lost uh, uh, the control of uh, my own region. <laughs> there were a time where every Bitcoiner was uh, <laughs> under my control. And nowadays it's impossible. I, 
I think there, uh, since a lot, uh, I think uh, at least uh, um, three years or four years, uh, I completely lost control of people. And there are a lot of Bitcoiners in uh, uh, Rodereto that probably doesn't, don't know me personally at all. So um, it was a really a huge success, uh, also not by uh, the merchant, but also by the citizen that uh, a lot uh, uh, came to um, listen to my speeches. I did a lot of local uh, speeches in different, um, uh, in different uh, kind of uh, environments from uh, technical ones in uh, university to schools, uh, banks, uh, uh, associate, um, society of different uh, interests with different topics. And uh, I don't know, um, some people listened, some people um, tried to, uh, to learn more about Bitcoin, and some people bought and uh, talked to other friends and families. So there are a lot of Bitcoiners here, and it's very nice to be here. <laughs> We also, uh, obviously, we are linked to Bitrefill, uh, like in nodes. Uh, sure, uh, we were some of the first to also use your services because they were very cool since the beginning. Come to visit us. It's Italy with Bitcoin. We have a lot of uh, strange story. And um, a guy from uh, um, from Argentina. I don't I don't remember if for was from Buenos Aires. Uh, he, he came uh, to visit Italy and uh, came to a speech I made uh, near Venice, like uh, 200 kilometers from Rovereto. And uh, I told him, uh, you know about the Bitcoin Valley? No, what is? He came uh, to visit us a couple of months uh, after this event. And it transferred completely. The first uh, post on Facebook after he moved to Rovereto, it was really strange to me. It was, I'm in paradise, Bitcoin and Fernet. Fernet is a local liquor, uh, which is not, is not uh, really popular uh, among uh, youth in Italy. And I discovered, uh, thanks to him, that in, in Argentina, it's really uh, a big hit. In the, for the young. So he, he, he really, for him, it was paradise, Bitcoin and Fernet, original Italian Fernet. <laughs> uh, we had a, a lot of these uh, strange stories with the people doing um, anthropology uh, degree, master thesis in uh, the Bitcoin Valley, which, where uh, we came a, a couple of weeks and then transferred for months to interview the, the, the local Bitcoiners. We had the uh, Russian tourists that came to, to us just because they watched the, the Bitcoin map uh, before uh, starting the travel. A lot of uh, beautiful stories, a lot of strange people came here to to try living in Bitcoin. Do you guys have any plans to expand the Bitcoin Valley to other areas of Italy? In the, our site, which is uh, for the project, which is bitcoinvalley.eu, uh, we are kind of open. Everyone can uh, copy our, uh, our thing, our ideas. We don't really plan to actively uh, go uh, and uh, replicate the same thing in other parts of Italy, of Europe um, actively. But uh, we are, um, we already started some uh, um, partnership with uh, uh, other people in, around Italy. There is a small Bitcoin Valley in uh, Pordenone, very small, a smaller one, which is bootstrapping uh, near Bologna. And uh, also uh, an another smaller one in uh, Rome. And we are happy to give advice, give our product and services, which uh, the best thing is that our products are real products made by, by people you really use them. 
and not some synthetic uh, imagination of what a Bitcoin wallet or a Bitcoin merchant would probably want. So now we have re some real experience and we are happy to share it to help anyone bootstrap their Bitcoin Valley, Bitcoin Mountain, Bitcoin Island, Bitcoin City, Bitcoin everyone wants, if you want. Is there anything that I haven't asked you about living on Bitcoin in Italy that you'd like people to know about? Maybe some stories and narratives. It, it, it came to us also the, the famous uh, Bitcoin family, uh, Didi Tahitu. I, I hope I pronounced it uh, correctly. We, which were really enthusiastic to, to see also that a, a driving school, uh, also a Nautic school, was accepting Bitcoin. That thing particularly impressed him. <laughs> it was like uh, really fun to, to see his uh, footage. He came to visit us also, I think the best uh, Bitcoin journalist, which is Aaron Van Beardum. This before knowing you, obviously, Ricardo. <laughs> but you, you didn't uh, yet visit us, so he, it is still the best because he's a very good journalist and visited the Bitcoin Valley. You can see his article about us uh, probably by Googling it, Bitcoin Valley Rovereto, Aaron Van Beardo. And um, I don't know, we are kind of uh, Bitcoin enthusiasts like anyone, uh, just we, we didn't have a fear of the Bitcoin name where when all other people feared uh, themselves, I don't know. Thank you very, very much for, for accepting the interview and explaining to our viewers about Bitcoin Valley. Uh, the Bitcoin Valley project is super inspiring. Come to visit us. <laughs> I would love to do that. I would love to do that. Thank you, Ricardo. And, Thank you, Marco. Uh, bye to all of your... Uh, public.